G'day all, welcome back to Built by Chris. In this episode, I'm going to be using the UJK path guide system for the very first time. I'm going to be drilling a series of holes that will hopefully turn my workbench into a sheet goods cutting station. If you want to learn more about the UJK path guide system, I urge you to watch Peter Parfit's channel, New Brit Workshop. He'll be able to tell you a lot more about it as he's the inventor of this system. Just a quick word on part one of this video. I had a few suggestions from uh, subscribers, from people saying that um, they would rather a voiceover and that I should tone the music down a little bit. And that's exactly what I'm going to do in this video. Now bear with me, I hate the sound of my own voice, so let's see how we go with that. The path guide comes with these two rulers with uh, holes drilled every 96 millimeters on center. Here I am measuring where I'm going to put the first hole. Putting the hole roughly 200mm by 200mm in from the edges just so I don't hit the frame under the table. I'm using an adjustable square here just to make sure that the path guide ruler is square to the edge of the table. Just using a clamp here to clamp down the uh, path guide stick to make sure it doesn't move when I drill the first hole. Once I've drilled the first hole, I'm going to use a pin, a 3mm pin that comes with the kit, to hold it in place. Here I'm using a 3mm drill guide to make sure that the hole is vertical. I'm drilling another 3mm hole at the other end of the path stick and I'm going to pin that with a 3mm pin as well. That way I'm guaranteed that the path stick will not move when I'm drilling the other holes. Now it's just a matter of working my way down the path stick and drilling out all the other holes. Here's where the path guide system comes into its own. What I'm doing now is pinning the two rulers together, making a triangle. That way I know that when I do the next set of holes, they're going to be 90 degrees to one another. I'm now drilling the first column of holes using the second path guide stick, working my way up towards the end. I'm now going to drill the second row of holes that are 90 degrees to the first column I just drilled. I'm now using Peter Parfit's method of counting out 6, 8 and 10 and pinning those uh, rulers down at those numbers. This will ensure that when I drill this second row of holes, that they're going to be exactly 90 degrees to the first column. Now here comes the big test. If I've done everything right up until now, that pin will fit and that pin will fit. Now I'm just going to work my way down the bench and drill out all the 3mm holes, getting ready to drill out the 20mm holes.
I've now pinned the 20mm guide block to the 3mm holes I drilled previously and now I'm drilling the 20mm holes. The 20mm drill bit that comes with the path guide system has a 3mm pin in the centre so it locates itself into the 3mm holes that I've just drilled. Now where I can't use the 3mm guide pins, the path guide system comes with 20mm pins to pin it down. What I'm doing here now is I'm working my way down the bench, drilling out my 20mm holes all the way down. One thing I've noticed about the path guide system is how accurate it is. Everything just fits, everything's perfect. Holes are drilled exactly where they're supposed to be drilled. It's, it's fantastic. I'm now putting the path dogs into the dog holes I've just drilled. These shorter ones are where I'm gonna butt up the uh, board that I'm gonna be cutting up to. And the longer ones are where the track saw guide is going to go. Okay, time to cut the first board. Track saw guide down, and here we go. Now I've got to tell you, this is the first time I've ever used this thing. First cut I ever made. And the accuracy, we'll just have a look at that. I don't think you can get any closer. Anyway, after using the UJK path guide system, drilling out the few holes, making a few cuts, I'm absolutely overjoyed with the accuracy and the ease of which I'll be able to cut down my sheet goods now. Okay, so I'll call this the end of part two. In part three, I'm going to be putting my router lift back into the table, so stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching, and please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Thank you. Bye for now.